Hello everyone, welcome back to Scalar Academy YouTube channel. Myself Vampi, in this tutorial we will be talking about sorting algorithms. First we will be uh, starting with a one a new sorting algorithm uh, named a bubble sort. Then uh, we will be seeing one optimized sorting algorithm uh, named Mudge sort. Yes, so sorting is one of the most uh, frequently asked interview questions in any kind of companies whether it be amazon google or any small product based companies or service based companies you can see a question related to sorting algorithms so it will make our job little easier okay so that's why we use uh, like sorting techniques and yes without wasting any time let's get started so before starting uh, we do have few formalities to do so if you are visiting channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe if you like the content please hit that like button up and if you have any questions or queries, please let us know in the comment section. So let's start with a one simplest sorting algorithm known as a bubble sort. Bubble sort. So before starting, let me tell you what is a sorting and uh, so what are the uh, like inputs that were given to you. Okay. Let's say you were a given an array, array and the size of the array and the size of the array now what you need to do now so you need to either sort the array in ascending order ascending order or a descending order what is ascending on descending order? so let's say we have given an array something like this 5 1 3 2 1 so if you want to sort this in increasing order increasing order then it would become 1 2, 3, 4, 5. If you are asked to solve it in a decreasing order, then it would become 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this is the meaning of sorting. Okay. Now, let's see the simplest sorting algorithm. Okay. That exists in an DS. Okay. Let's see. So, unknown and bubble sort. Simplest bubble sort. Okay. So, let's take an array like this. Okay, uh, 5, 4, 2, 3, 1. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now I wanted to sort this in increasing order. Okay, then my output should look like, okay, this is the output and this is the input and also you will be given an n as a 5. Okay, now let's see how a bubble sort works. So basically, the bubble sort simply says that Okay, compare adjacent elements and swap them if they are not in correct order. That's it. That's it. That's very simple. So how? How? Okay, let's say first I will pick up a uh, five, four, one. So first I will a uh, standard this guy. So how many elements I need to start n elements, right? So I need to repeat the same process for n elements. So n times. Okay. So first I will start with this guy. Okay. Now what I will do? I will compare it with four and five. Now I will check. So is that in correct order? So if I was trying to be uh, trying to sort this in array in increasing order, then it would look like four comma five. But it is not in correct order. So what I will do? I will swap them I will swap them now so I will compare now these two elements so 5 and 2 are they in correct order no right so 2 has to come before 5 so 2 5 now I will swap these guys so what happened so 5 has to come here and 3 has to come here so 3 5 now again I will swap these guys so it will become 1 it will become 5 Done. So now just tell me at the every iteration like every element my last element I am sorting like I am fixing one element right so in my uh, like at first what is the last element so in this array the last element if I sort the entire array the last element would look like 5 so we got the 5 in right place right now our aim is to take this 4 to here now 3 to here then 2 then 1 okay this is our aim now so let's rewrite the array 
so this is the current array it is now what i do so first i will compare these guys so i have to swap them yes now i will compare these guys again i need to swap them now i need to compare these guys one four now just tell me do i need to compare this do i need to compare this and uh, no why why so i am pretty much sure that in every iteration in every iteration i am taking out the max element in an array and fixing that into the right position right right position so in first iteration i have fixed the last element so the max element okay so i will forget about this particular part now okay i have to sort this this part only now in this part the max is 4 so that has to come here now coming down to the next iteration what i will do so 3 2 1 4 5 so i will remove these two guys like these are in sorted they are stable okay so their positions are fixed so now i need to start so 3 and 2 and 3 correct position no need to swap 3 and 1 yes we need to swap 1 has to come th before 3 so 1 and 5 sorry 1 and 3 sorry sorry 1 and 3 now a 3 is done now the array is looks like this now i need to compare these guys so i need to swap so 1 2 so this iteration done so i left with this guy okay there is nothing to so this is the first guy that's it done this is how a bubble sort looks like okay let me write a quick uh, pseudo code for this particular algorithm okay so we will be having a two loops okay let's say why two loops okay so we will be having one loop okay how many times we need to iterate how many times that we have iterated so first second third four fifth okay five so why five there are five elements okay so five here is n so we need to iterate through n times okay n times now each time what we need to do so each time each time so since we are checking adjacent elements so let's say if i am currently here let's say this is a of a i so j then it t it will be a of a j plus one right so if you want if you want j plus one that if you use if you have going till n then you will you might end up in a array index bound of exception okay it means that let's say so the size of the array is 5 okay so if you are going to array of 5 there is no such index so the, your array size is 5 so you will have 5 minus 1 elements so like last index so if you are trying to access a of 5 it will throw an array bound of array index bound of exception we don't want to end up in that kind of situation so what i will do so for j equal to 0 uh, here uh, let's take uh, so n and here n minus 1 and tell me and tell me so in each iteration here did we uh, sorted anything in first iteration no so zero sorted elements so here i can say that 5 is sorted so it means one element is sorted and here two elements is are sorted here three elements are sorted here four elements are sorted so can i say that can i say that so here i would be 0 here i would be 1 here i would be 2 here i would be 3 and here i would be 4 so can i say that so i need to compare i need to compare the elements which were n minus 1 n minus 1 so let's take this guy okay here n is 5 okay if i remove i 3 so it will be 2 so i need to compare two guys that's it okay so simply i can say that minus i as well now what i need to do if a of j greater than a of j plus 1 what i need to do i need to swap them swap a of j and a of j plus 1 that's it simple simple right so it will do our job now let's try to analyze the time complexity of this particular algorithm okay so so you can easily guess okay how how many times we are so here 
we are iterating for five times and for each time for each time we are again repeating in worst case again we are repeating for n in worst case right so if you consider in this particular iteration we have considered all the we have iterated to all the elements again so can i say that it's again five times so n is uh, n equal to five here yeah? and five here. so can i say that it's a big o of n square in worst case in worst case okay now uh, what will be the space complexity space complexity so did we use any extra space no so the space complexity would be constant okay constant now is there any uh, way to optimize this n square optimize this n square now let's think okay you have given an you have given an already sorted array already a sorted array or let's say you have given an array something like this 5 1 2 3 4 okay you have given an array looks like this now tell me so what are the procedures first you will compare this so what you will do you will overwrite this so your 1 will come here your 5 will come here then your 2 will come here and 5 will come here then again your 5 3 will come here 5 will go here and again again so 4 here 5 here so your array is sorted your array is sorted in one iteration okay in one iteration now is there any need of checking this a particular uh, do we need any other iterations to be done no you don't need so when can i say that when can i say that so can i say something like this so if i don't swap in any of the iterations if i don't swap if i don't swap can i say that my uh, entire uh, elements in an array are sorted so when do we swap when do we swap we found a max guy which is in not in correct order so if it is not in correct order we need to fix that guy so if we are not required to swap then it means that we don't need to uh, uh, everyone every every guy is in sorted manner everyone is at their correct respect to positions that's it okay so what i what i can do so i can simply say that so in this particular code here in this particular if condition i will say i will use some flag okay so initially i will uh, set a flag equal to um, a zero okay so if i had never entered into this guy like after it checking this particular iteration as flag equal to equal to zero it means that I never entered into this particular block. So what I can say? I can say that break. Break. So you don't need to check again. So everyone is at their respective position. That's it. Now tell me. So now let's think about the uh, best case. Okay. Best case. Best case. So can I say that at max we can iterate to big of n. That's it okay if every element is in sort order so we'll fix one index okay we'll fix here and we'll check here so we never entered into if block so if we don't enter into if block it will our flag will remain as a zero so then after coming out of that second inner loop we are saying that flag equal to zero so then break so at max we are compared rest of the array that's it big o of n that's it okay now again okay so what it will be the average case so again it would be big o of n square only okay so there is no second thought <laughs> yeah. in majority of the cases average a case will lies with uh, this guy worst case only okay so that's all about a bubble sort now uh, let's see merge sort okay now let's see merge sort so what is a merge sort so basically here the time complexity is big o of n square so if you are in an interview so if someone asks you like uh, given an sorted uh, like given an array you need to sort that so at first you are going to discuss you, you are going to tell the approach of bubble sort okay which uses big of n square so the next follow-up question would be try to reduce that complexity yes try to optimize that so then here comes the your uh, we have to say less much sort how it works okay let's see you will be given an array something like this of uh, five 
आप थ्री फोर टू वन टू ओके वन टू सो दिस इज द अरे यू हैव गिवेन ओके सो बेसिकली मैज शॉर्ट इज डिवाइड एंड क्वांक्वर अप प्रोग्रामिंग अप्रोच सो वॉट इज दिस सो वी विल डिवाइड द अरे एंड विल ट्राई टू रूल दैट अरे दैट इट ओके सो लेट्स सी हाउ हाउ ओके so basically let's try to divide this entire array into a uh, two offs okay two offs so here the first off will be 5 3 4 and second off would be 1 comma 2 okay now again we'll try to break this guys so again it will become 3 comma 5 and 4 here it would become 1 and 2 now again i will try to break this guys Five and three. Okay, this is how uh, we are dividing the array. So we are dividing the array until until in each block or each sub part contains only one element in it. That's it. Okay, so if you could observe, so here there is one, there is one, there is one, one, one. So we need to divide the array until the array looks like this. Okay, now what we do? So we have divided and then we need to conquer. so we need to rule so what is our job what is our job so our job is to our job is to sort the array okay so how we are sorting this so we are sorting this let's see like let's see how it's really kind of very interesting so i will take two pointers okay let's say p1 and p2 okay i will put p1 at a left side okay and p2 at right side okay so now i will compare so or uh, which one is a smaller guy so here the smaller guy is a 3 so what i will do i will put that a 3 here yeah. okay now i will increment my p2 okay i will increment my p2 to the next the, it points to the next so is there anything some here is there anything no there is nothing now can i say that so you are left with this guy so try to add that guy. done we are done now so we are done with this part okay now we need to merge this merge match okay match so how this looks like again we will take two pointers p1 p2 so one at p1 at right, left side and a p2 at right side so now i will compare this a 3 and 4 which one is smaller 3 so 3 is in cut position now i will move my p1 to here okay now tell me so which one is a smaller four is smaller okay so sorry here yeah, i need to put three now tell me so which one is smaller four is smaller so i will put four and i will increment my p2 so i have incremented my p2 is there anything or it is pointing nothing there is nothing in p2 so what i will do i will add the rest of the elements at left hand side okay to the output okay so that's it so we are done with this we are done with this and we are done with this now we'll come to this half and we'll see so we have two elements p1 p2 okay now p1 is here and p2 is there okay p1 is smaller so i will put p1 here and then so i will increment p2 p1 here then i will compare so there is nothing at p1 so simply i will add the elements all of the elements at the p2 here now i need to merge these guys okay so i will point my p1 here point my p2 here okay now what happens so a 1 and 3 which one is smaller one is smaller so i will put one here and i will increment my p2 to 2 okay now which one is a smaller 3 or 2 3 or 2 2 is smaller so i will put 2 here and i will move my p2 to here okay is there anything to point nothing there is nothing to point right so what i will do it means that it means that whatever the elements whatever the elements so i am pretty much sure that whatever we have at the left hand side are sorted whatever we have at the right hand side are sorted okay uh, if i know they are in sorted order if i have uh, if i am done with this part 
if I am done with this part, I can say that. So whatever are being left are all greater than whatever we have sorted till now. That's it. Okay. On that note, what I can do? I can simply add all these elements. Three, four, five. That's it. Okay. That's how a merge sort looks like. So divide, conquer. So while conquering, we are merging. So while merging, we are sorting that. Okay. So I will come to know. Okay. We'll come to know while discussing that code. Okay. So for better understanding, give it a shot. Okay. Take some big array containing of uh, 10 elements. Okay. So that you will know better. Okay. You will know, get to know better. Okay. So it's a very, very important to understand the logic behind merge sort. Okay. This is how you can master divide and conquer algorithms. So there are one of the biggest paradigm like frequently asked interview questions. Okay. So we can solve uh, many problems using a sorting techniques. So uh, like, so <laughs> you can simply say that bro, I will simply use a uh, sort in C++ or sort in Java, which is an inbuilt uh, frameworks. Okay. So, but if you are in an interview, okay, so you have used that suppose the follow up question. So how that sort function is working? How that sort function is working so then what you can what you will do i don't know so so that's not a, how it works right at least you need to say like we are not sure how that works okay if we don't know we can't tell that so at least up to your knowledge you have to say that okay so now let's try to come to the uh complexity analysis okay complexity analysis part so basically what we are doing we are trying to divide the we are trying to divide our array to equal parts, equal parts in every iteration until the array becomes one each element. The array contains one element each. So can I say that? So let's say you have given an eight elements. First, you are making eight to four each, then two each, then one each. So how many things it has taken three times? So three times. So we have divided three levels. That's it. So if you have here, uh, let's take uh, an array of a uh, 16 size. So you are uh, making it a 8, then 4, then 2, then 1. So here, how many steps? It's a 4. So can I say that it is a 2 power of 3 and 2 power of 4? So whatever the element you have given, you will be taking that to log 2 base. Sorry, n log. Okay and log n. So you are making that array. How many times that you are, are trying to make that? So n times. Okay, n times. So it would become n into log base to n. Okay. So the time complexity of this uh, particular merge sort would be n into log base to n. Okay. So this is the one of the kind of sorting algorithm which is uh, being uh, used in uh, this internal sorting techniques as well. So you can say that uh, the sorting time complexity would be big O of n into log base 2n. Okay. So if you are in an interview, if you have used a sorting technique, okay, though it was an inbuilt one, you have to consider that as your uh, time complexity. Okay. So don't forget that. Now let's see the coding part of uh, um, merge sort. Now let's discuss the uh, code of merge sort so since a uh, merge sort is an divide and conquer approach first we need to divide the array until it will come as an one particular element in an at each side and then we need to perform the merging right so first let's assume let's assume you have given an integer array okay and then you have given an n okay so n is the size of the array size of the array now since you are dividing you need a two elements one is a pointing as a low another one as high so usually low points to the starting index of an element starting index of an element and high points to the ending index of an array okay now let's see so we all know that start is zero end is like the last element in an array is n minus 1 right 
so we pass these inputs to our uh, let's say first we'll decide to uh, let's say perform merge sort kind of okay so i have an i am assuming i have a merge sort function which helps me to um, sort the whole array so for that I, have, I will be giving array as my input and low point and high point okay usually low is defined to zero high is n minus one okay now we'll go and write the go for merge sort merge sort so you will be taking integer array and into low and into high okay cool at first what you need to do so you will start dividing it by two offs right so for that what you need so you need a mid okay int mid equal to i plus low by two okay so if your uh, given uh, size of the arrays are too high okay then you have to use this approach called uh, like a low plus high minus low by two okay so this is the approach that you need to do so it will try to avoid the overflow okay so since let's assume you have given an uh, integer high as uh, like you have given an array so which is uh, the size of 10 power 9 okay so in that case it will be overflowing right so integer can't hold that much of values if you add let's assume so low is pointing to 10 power 5 and high is pointing to 10 power 9 so it's a 10 power 14 so your integer can't handle that much of big values so you have to use this approach to avoid the overflow cases now what you need to do so you have made so then what you need to do so you need to divide the array from low to mid again so for that what you need to do again you need to call the merge sort merge sort you will be given array and low is low and your high will become as mid right so let's say you have given an uh, array something like this and this is the mid so at the left hand side you will have this block and right hand side you will have this block so for this low is here and mid is here so you have to consider your mid as high at the left hand side so at the right hand side what you need to do you have to start at mid plus one and you need to consider high as your ending point right so mid here and a merge sort array a mid plus one and high done now after doing all these things what we need to do so we have divided okay we have divided and when to stop that division when we need to stop that division so can i say that can i say that whenever i crosses my uh, low and high okay so low is pointing to here and high is pointing to here whenever i cross these regions i need to say stop that's it right so i will say here if low less than or repeat these things in all other cases uh, you don't need to do all these things so you have a divided now what you need to do you need to merge them so you will have a, another function to merge so for that you will be passing array mid and high done so we have divided the whole array now our part is to uh, club this entire array that's it so if we do that that's it done okay so let's see uh, the code of merging okay so let's say a uh, void merge so uh, this uh, merge sort is an not an inbuilt uh, like uh, it's an in place sort but we use a temporary array okay to sort the uh, like while sorting while merging and then again we will replace all our temporary array elements to the original array so that's how we are uh, sorting so you will be taking an array and you will be taking a low and you will be having a mid and you will be taking a height from input now what you need to do at first so uh, you have a uh, left division and right division so you need to point to here and you need to point you here and you you need to compare these values and then you need to uh, like place them in some place right so first thing first thing to perform uh, like we need to have this array right so you need first you need to divide 
your array into two blocks like right? so based upon the low and low mid and high regions okay so for that i need to know on like on left hand how many elements are there on right hands how many elements are there so for that i will say let's say left n so and right n okay left n and right n so left n uh, tells me the the elements are in the left hand side and right hand tells about the elements present in the right hand side so my left hand side so basically so what is my what is my last region it's a mid and what is my uh, first region it's a low so if i do mid minus low my job done my job done okay let's see okay i have three elements and my indexes are one zero two okay so uh, my mid is this and low is this so if i do two minus zero it's a two but i have three elements for that i need to do plus one okay so it's a mid minus low plus one okay now uh, let's come to the uh, this reason right reason so i have elements so let's say uh, where we stop uh, so this is my reason and uh, i have two elements okay i have two elements so this is my mid no it's a mid plus one okay this is a mid plus one my mid is pointing to two okay so it's a mid now it is high okay now it tell me so if i do this like a five minus three it's at only two what i need to do i need to do plus one so instead of doing plus one if i consider only mid 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 okay then it will be mid is two right so five minus two is equal to three so this is what i want so instead of uh, adding one i will do a uh, subtract that's it so now i have the elements count which are, are residing at my left hand side and right hand side now what i need to do so i need to uh, consider i will i will store them in one temporary array okay so that it will make my job little easier okay so let's say int a left equal to new a left n and i have int a right a new equal to int of a right n okay done i have two arrays now what i need to do so i need to store all my left hand side elements to the left array and all my right hand elements to the right array so what i will do i will iterate through and for loop i is equal to 0 to a uh, left side n okay so i will say left of i equal to original array of original array of low plus i why low plus i why low plus i so just think okay so it's a small assignment for you okay so just try to think why i have a said a low plus high okay now i will store the elements at the right hand side right in now basically what is the starting point of my right hand side array it's a mid right so it's a mid plus one basically it's a mid plus one so i will say array of mid plus one plus i done so in this now we are we have a left side array and right side array what we need to do we need to compare and we need to store them in sorted manner that's it our job is done if i if we are able to do that so for that i will take uh two pointers let's say p1 p2 which are let's say which are both are pointing to zero okay so p1 is pointing to zero and p2 is pointing to zero and uh, to store my result i will say one k so i will initialize one thing as k equal to one okay so yeah let's see so basically now i will be in a loop so now tell me now tell me when can i say that i have crossed my p1 when i can i say that i have crossed my p1 so i can say that p1 less than n1 n1 means a left side n and p2 less than right side n done so now what i need to do i need to compare right i need to compare so a left of p1 p1 smaller than or equal to right of a p2 okay so if left element is smaller what i need to do i need to store that in my result so i will i will do 
array of k equal to left of p1 now what i need to do i need to increment my pointer right p1 plus plus and also i need to increment my k as well so i have filled uh, my position now i need to go to second position next position now what if this is else like if this is the if this is the, not the case what i need to do i need to store right side element which is a p2 and i need to increment p2 and increment so that's it that's it so if i do a repeatedly i will do all the like uh, until either of the p1 or p2 pointers reaches the max okay now tell me so what if what if what if i have two arrays right so left hand side and right hand side so all the elements at the right hand side are smaller than the first element so in my resultant array i will keep on pushing these elements and i will cross the reason so but i have left with these elements okay i left with these elements to push so now since i have added all the elements at the right hand side i have left with left hand side so now i need to add those all those uh, remaining elements to my resultant array that's it so i will simply use a while i will simply use a while if p1 less than a uh, left n what i need to do array of k equal to left of p1 increment k plus plus and uh, p1 plus plus okay so if this is the case like if this is the case if what if all the element sides are a smaller than the first element of right hand side like not only first element if we have uh, some uh, left over elements so in that case we need to add the all the right hand side elements to the resultant so for that i will say again i will have loop p2 less than right hand side n and i will keep on store array of k equal to right hand of a p2 and i will increment my p2 and i will increment my k that's it done so in this case we will have all our elements in sorted order now let's try to analyze the uh, time and space complexity of this approach okay. so time and space complexity of this approach so basically so to divide to divide to divide we will be taking log n time log base to n time right so we, since we have first we have given 8 then we have reduced to 4 then we have reduced to 2 then we have reduced to 1 so how many times we have uh, been uh, performed this operation 1 2 3 it's a 3 times so if i have given something like 12 elements so 6 3 and 1 like in worst case like uh, so a uh, 2 and 1 so we can consider that so here again we have taken three times right so i can i say that it's a q uh, like a nearest square root of two nearest square root of two so what is the square root of uh 12 it's a three point uh something right so it is in between 8 and 16 so it's 2 power 3 and it's 2 power 4 it will be uh, something like a uh, 3 power 3.7 or 3.8 so we will consider this point okay three and this is for a dividing to merge again we are considering at max we are traversing can i say that we are traversing to the at max like in worst case we are traversing to the all the elements present in an array so to traverse all the elements in and present in an array is big of n so how many times we are repeating this how many times we are repeating this so whenever so whatever the parts what we have we are performing that entire times so it will be can i say that it will be big o of n into log base to n so this is the overall time complexity of the merge sort and it is the same for all the cases same for all the classes like worst based and average cases it would take n into log base to n only and coming to space complexity 
so now tell me so here we are not using any space other than stack memory it's okay fine now here coming to we are creating an array right two temporary arrays so at max how much element what we can divide so at max let's say we have a two eight elements we are dividing it to four and four so it's again eight only right again entirely so left part four elements right part four elements we are considering eight so can i say that i'm considering big w of n uh, space complexity so this is the analysis of an magisor 